Okay, um, so it's been a while since I've actually played this. Uh, I'm guessing when I, I do upload these, uh, there's not going to be a gap. So this is going to make no sense, but it's been ages since I've played this. Uh, I remember we stopped at this mission because... Uh, let's just jump into it, I'll give you a few minutes to read this, or I'll read it as well. I know what happens in the mission, but I, I, it's been ages since I've actually read this. So what we have here is just basically a unique mission. We'll be playing as a single character. We can't arm him ourselves. He's just given set weapons for the mission, and he can pick up guns. And uh, he does have mods, I think. Just not very good mods, like level 1, I guess. And yeah, we'll just need to persuade. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else we can do, really. Just get into it. Need to get rid of this one. It's like one of my least favourite missions, just because it's a pain. I can't remember if you like if turning off the the guns makes you invisible. Oh no, apparently not. So obviously in this mission you can't uh, you can't rely on numbers. What are they doing? Um, you, you can't rely on numbers like you can usually. Uh, you have to be careful. It's a lot of one-shotting guys and then running away. Interesting to note this this map is actually used a few different times in the game. Um, I think at least one once in one of the demo missions and uh, maybe once or twice in the church campaign or maybe again in this one hmm. okay. see if we look he's pretty pathetic whoops okay whoops he does not have good health um, Okay, he's recovering quite quickly. So maybe he does have like level 3 mods. It's just because there's only one of him that he seems so weak. That's some pretty decent recovering. Guess we'll just have to be careful of these guys. Oh, you know, who had the... Who had the sniper rifle then? Yeah, okay, that's curious. So I think basically what happens is you go there as soon as you get there she's in the car. Oh, she gets in the car anyway. And they move. Uh, then they go here. You get there, then they move again. And it just becomes kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, I didn't pick up any of those weapons, did I? <laughs> Just remembered that. Can I kill these guys? No. Okay, yeah, I can. Okay, that's two down. Mm. 
I can get these guys with a well placed nuclear grenade. Just bring that out there. I love this transparency effect. It's a really good idea as well, like. I mean, it's common sense, but you know, like. Developers don't always display common sense when they're making games. It's, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, this is the annoying thing about his mission. Uh, you're probably going to be replaying it a lot because he keeps dying. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, don't know where he's going. I wonder what this character is supposed to be a reference to, like... He looks like a Desperado or something? Like, if you look at... The cops ignore me. Okay, yeah. It's just the sin... Uh, just the... sorry, just the church who don't like me. Is the red? Oh, okay, that's a car. Mm. Why is there just like a random car there? Move along. Move along. Well, that all. Uh, the thing I think about is. Can I rely on the the uh, the drugs to the the red drug thing, that thing, to like snipe people if I just like plop him down somewhere? Because that could be useful if I can. Okay, somebody's coming up. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those tough guys. I don't know, I think I'm going to probably fail this again. <laughs> See if we can collapse the building and kill some of them inside. I don't know if this is going to work. He doesn't have enough energy for 
I mean, he, he, he would eventually. But like, it's going to take a single guy forever to get this, this building to come down. I guess he must have level 3 mods. Like, he's... Look at that regen though, like, he must... I think he must have level 3 mods. That seems a bit futile. Okay, let's just let him regen. Uh, that was smart. Yeah, this mission's a pain. I don't like I don't like stuff like this. I guess it's really just a thing of its era though, like... Like, you couldn't... Like, this is trying to be like the sort of thing modern action games are, where you get complicated action sequences and... You know, it's not just get key, get to door, there's like story, there's events and stuff, and you're in the middle of it. But it doesn't really well. It does work, but like, doesn't work as well as it works with modern games because obviously there's not as much that they can do. Uh, well, in a game from this era, the uh, the tech isn't, or I guess the software. Because games aren't, well, it's more about the design really uh, now, isn't it? Like, you don't need a massively powerful computer to run a, a smart game, if that makes sense. Like, good story is good story, that's just writing. them up there? Keep moving. Okay, let's look as there's a sort of distance I can almost get them. One of the things about this game, like it works as its own internal system, but then there are, are times where the si there are times when the system sort of breaks. Like I can see them here, and I'm like not not in the way of a fence, so I can sort of sh shoot at them. But like from certain angles, I would be able to hit them, but then others I can't.
There we go, like that. So I think in that case, it's uh, the reason why they're able to hit me there is because they're actually on the other side of the fence. They've somehow jumped through the fence to get at me, and because of that, I can now hit them. <laughs> Which doesn't really make sense. They shouldn't be able to push through a fence to get to the other side, but you know, whatever. I remember correctly the way this works is that uh, she sort of sets down in the car, they move around in the car Uh, they move around in the car and then they use this looping system to like run away from you. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to go up there and uh, pick them off that way. Oh, okay, here comes one guy. I don't know what he's doing. Wow, does he not have a gun? That's a bit suspicious. Oh, he does have a gun, he's just not using it. Not that a flamer would be particularly useful, but, uh, you know, whatever. I think we might be able to snipe some of them from here. No. Maybe I could knock the fence down? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, somehow that got through the fence. Not going to complain. Okay, uh, let's, let's let's go do something else. Let's go thin thin the herd out a bit more. So what have we got? We've got these guys. There's not too many left of them now. Oh, okay. He came from nowhere? Well, he didn't come from nowhere, he came from somewhere, but you know, he was surprising. Like 
two of them look the sniper rifles, isn't there? It. Oh, okay, he's in the come. These guys has the sniper rifle. No, unless it's is it that guy? Oh, okay, it's that guy. Yep, need to get away from him as quickly as possible. intense. That was pretty bloody intense. Just gonna put that out there. Can we get this guy? Can we can we get this guy? Okay, is it will my I don't know, let's maybe see if we can fire a rocket into his side. See if that Oh, okay, there's two of them. God, what is going on here? It's like a magic sweet uh, sweet spot where if I fire, it will just hit them. But I uh, don't know where that is. working. Okay, change of plan. Select. 
We'll see if we can fly the launcher across again. See if that works. No, it's probably not going now. And if that fails, I guess we'll shield up and go across and then just try to bait them. seems to be working. Nah. <sighs> this is so annoying. I wonder if blowing up the bank would, uh, if it did have any money in it, would uh, bring in that money for the syndicate or, or not, as it's a one-off mission. Well, this is bringing. Eh? Okay, and we're back. Um, that was annoying. Um, quite frustrating. It's been like 20 minutes on a level just to die. Um, I've restarted. I've uh, jumped ahead a bit because I have actually cleared the level of pretty much every zealot. Uh, I thought I'd leave that out of the video though. Uh, even got rid of these three guys. Uh, so it's just these guys here. Hopefully, we can do this without too much trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting much to be fair. Okay, not getting there. Okay. The hell? The hell happened there? O okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna press space here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, um, don't know what happened there. Uh, I skipped ahead. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, oh that's good, that, that's important, uh, oh okay, so we couldn't actually persuade her even though we were told we were supposed to be persuading her. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 
Okay, but we're we're no longer whatever his name was. Uh, says it. Uh, Wu, Agent Wu. Is that a reference to John Wu? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We're no longer Wu though, so we're back with being the agents. Um, this is important. I think this might be where we get plasma lances, or possibly just more, more money. Uh, this is a big cultist level. I think the, we also get the chrono tap, chrono, I want to say trigger, but that's a game, uh, which is a useful bit of tech. Really cool bit of tech. But we'll save here anyway. <laughs> 